Tomato with egg stir-fry is probably one of the simplest things you can possibly cook. But to me, it is easily one of the top 10 most favorite Chinese dishes. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, this is No Chefs here. There are so many videos of this dish, and of course everybody has their own twist and take on it. I always wanted to share my way of doing it because I love this dish so much. Today's the day. Only I took it just a step further. I've been working outside my house first half today. Got a little sunburn, a little tired, definitely very hungry. This dish is so flavorful. It's also very nutritious. It's filling and it comes together in minutes. Definitely perfect for the occasion. Well, I'm super excited to cook this, sit down and enjoy. Okay, well, this is all I'm gonna be using today. So the star of the show, I have three eggs and two tomatoes. I have two green onions because both are really skinny. Garlic to taste, three cloves for me. All of the quantities and ingredients are listed in the description box below if you want to follow this particular way. White pepper, sea salt, oyster sauce. You can alternatively use soy sauce, but I like the depth of the oyster sauce. It's amazing. Totally optional chicken powder have 0.3 of a pound of meat and uh, this is a steak cornstarch sesame oil shaoxing cooking wine and if you just want to make tomatoes and eggs the way I make it this is all you need I'll start with the meat simple marination now you see if I was cooking this as a steak that would be perfectly fine but because I'm going to use this meat for stir fry I'll just remove this fat no need for it Now you take a look and note where the grains are. They're running this way, so we cut against them. This thickness is pretty nice. Uh, if you have a thin piece of steak, you can just cut you know, at an angle to make wider pieces. Just cut as thinly as possible. First, of course, sharp knife is important. And then your preference. You can put this in a freezer for about 45 minutes, but I didn't. This is straight out of the refrigerator. So this is the thickness. When you get to the point where it's difficult to cut thinly, guess what? All the surface area is for your benefit. Pretty thin now. Gotta wash these things, be right back. Shaoxing cooking wine. This is about three quarters of a tablespoon cornstarch start adding a little bit at a time and mix make sure that all the pieces are nicely covered look at this all the liquid is gone great the cornstarch is a great tenderizer also it creates a protective barrier around the meat to keep it moist Sesame seed oil, just a drizzle to make sure that the pieces don't stick to each other during cooking. Just set this aside now. So the onions. I want to take care of the garnish, so let's do these pieces for garnish. Everybody else, thinly slice size is totally up to you. I like to actually bite into onion, so this is good. For the garnish, I actually want to do today like thin stripes. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and if you would like for them to curl more, you can put them in ice cold water. I'm just actually going to keep like this. For the garlic, Smashing it helps you peel as well as release the flavor. And then this. Now just chop. Once again, your preference on the size. Beautiful tomatoes. 
I love tomatoes. We will cut in the low spot if you run your finger through here so that it loses as little juice as possible. This hard stem. This is a pretty good size one, so I'm just gonna give it a chop to each one in the center. So that's one tomato with slices. I'm going to use a half of this one once again. Don't worry, all of the ingredients and amounts are in the description. So for this one, cut it anywhere you want at this point, but here's its purpose. Go ahead and dice in small pieces. This is going to be what will turn into a tomato juice eventually. Gorgeous. Here's the important part. Make sure you save all the juice from tomatoes off the board and off the knife. Next we have the eggs. Season the eggs. Oyster sauce brand new bottle cheers this is like a teaspoon there you go all in there white pepper right in to your taste it's about a quarter of a tablespoon you can always add more in the end and uh, whisk or mix or beat till everything is well combined if you add too much oyster sauce, the egg will become like dark and gray. Not, not delicious, but not really good looking. So you can alternatively add a little bit more salt, but I suggest wait till the end, taste the dish, then adjust your flavor. On a medium high heat, preheat, no flavor oil. My case, um, vegetable oil. And whisk the eggs one last time and carefully add When the bottom feels like it's starting to get set, go ahead and uh, start adjusting the egg position. At this time, the egg is done. I'm gonna let it hang out on this paper towel here. New dose of oil, meat. Just shallow fry. Once you start seeing a nice color like this, you're done. I have meat resting on a paper towel. Clean wok once again. Medium high heat. No flavor oil. Tablespoon. Garlic and green onion going in. Just give it 30 seconds or so until fragrant. Chopped tomatoes. To help them release the juice, and when most tomatoes are broken down, sliced tomatoes going in, water, chicken powder, just this much. This dish is supposed to have a lot of sauce because it's going to get absorbed by the egg and then also if you eat with rice, you know that's gonna go there too. When the sauce starts looking beautiful, color like this, give it a try. Ooh, that is perfect in my opinion. No need to season anything. Meat goes back in. Let it warm through this beautiful egg. And at this time, we can kind of break down pieces of egg. And just as soon as everything comes together, you are done. All right, there it is. Super excited. Look at this perfect bite I have. Everything on it. meat is very very tender 
the egg is silky. As you can see, I'm eating this without the rice because I'm not a big fan, I apologize. But I do like all of that sauce in here. So my proportions of seasoning, they're not too salty, not too spicy, it's just fine. And this juice based with tomatoes is just amazing. Well, this is it for this particular recipe and episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Until next time, I wish you nothing but the best.